So the pressure washer wall solution's done. I am super happy. Let me just walk you through kind of the final look that we can get a sense of kind of how I wrapped it up. All right, a little bit of an evening update here. Thought I'd check in on some progress. The majority of the field tile for the floor is in, as you can see. So it looks super nice. Um, I could not say enough good things about this floor. I'm so happy I decided to go with the Swiss track. So we just need to cut in the ends and things like that. TV, decided to upsize that. We put up a 42 here. It was fine, but really to balance the space out and take advantage of how much of the wall we've got there available. I went up to a 55. Picked this one up at Costco, actually, really great price. We've got uh, the subwoofer hooked up. So that's a new addition. Really helps round out the sound here in the room, especially if I'm listening to music, detailing work on the car, you know, just really kind of ups the overall situation. We've located the air compressor. We've got a power strip. This is kind of just temporarily here, but it's gonna be in the center. Provides 10 outlets for Kind of projects the idea of this space here is you know that this is kind of project central you've got the task lighting you've got the power you know you can plug in kind of one-off tools like a dremel or you know just things that aren't going to be battery powered or out all the time uh, for particular unique projects lay out kind of parts and whatnot that you need for a specific uh, project you're doing on the car uh, so yeah we've got to unbox a bunch of stuff from Cess garage this is all like organization stuff spray bottles labels foam cannons i'm um, upgrading a whole bunch of different stuff as part of kind of the overall build Still got to do this wall here, but yeah, everything is starting to really come together. We're getting into more like the detail stuff now, which is really the fun part of just kind of really tweaking everything, getting it really dialed in. Okay, next order of business is getting the wash bay pressure washer solution, whatever you want to call it, set up. So made some progress here, put the stainless steel shelf up. Really like the shelf. Got it from like a restaurant supply company. It really was pretty reasonable considering how expensive these can be. Got the Karcher all cleaned up and on the shelf. This was the most narrow shelf that they had on the website. It's 24 inches wide. I actually like the size because I was gonna hang these foam cannons. So I picked up a couple new PF22s from OG. One of these will be for foam, obviously for washing the carp. The other one I'm gonna leave 50-50 Brake Buster diluted in for wheels. I have not used a foamer for wheels in the past. I've just been using the spray bottle. It's a total pain. And I'm really looking forward to using a foamer just to A, make the product last that much longer, but B, get much better coverage, especially inside the wheel well. So anyway, I like this because I was gonna hang these on the wall somewhere with some solutions that are out there that make some stainless brackets for um, foam cannons. But I'm really trying to minimize like the amount of like wall board, wall pegs, peg board, slat wall like any of those systems i know a lot of people are really into that like they would take this whole area and like slat it and like hang whatever tailgate chairs and bike stuff and whatever i'm just trying to keep this way cleaner than that i think that looks good if you need to store that stuff in your garage but we have a really large basement so i've moved all that stuff right there to the basement so it's close we can pull it out easily if we're coming in here to get in a car and go somewhere to just keep it super clean. So in that spirit, I didn't want any foam cannons or stuff hanging off the wall if I could help it. So the shelf is nice. It's wide enough to hold both the pressure washer and the foam cannons. Cox hose reel. This thing is so good. Obviously OG products, for those of you who've been on their website, can't say enough good things about it. Not super cheap, but the number one thing that was the biggest pain, I think, about washing the cars, which I do all the time, was manually like winding up this hose, you know, like over one of those garden things. It used to be back here. And so when there was a car parked here and was watching other cars, it was in the way. It's just a mess. It's like the last thing you want to do after you've washed the car. You spent like an hour going crazy, getting it super dialed in. And then it's like, shoot, now I got to roll up the whole hose. So really enjoying the way this looks and functions. It's got a uh, tensioner here so you can create enough tension to where it doesn't unroll on itself, but it's still easy enough to roll. It's got a nice stout handle and it's got a stainless steel swivel connection. So this piece here 
is what you call jumper hose, okay? So this will go up to the connection where the pressure washer hose used to be connected directly. And then I'll tie this back to the wall, make it nice and neat. Takes the water through here into a connection on the inside of this. And then when you install this Cobra Jet hose in this case, you, you gotta make sure you're using the swivel end. It's got two ends, one swivels, one doesn't. I tried for probably 10 minutes to try to get the non-swivel end connected, kept binding up. Then I finally went over to OG, looked at the website and actually followed some directions. So swivel end connects in here in a piece inside and then you just roll it up. Um, and then you end up with, you know, this connection obviously here with your quick disconnect for foam cannon, wand, etc. So this thing is awesome. Um, I know it's just a hose reel and it seems like I'm making a big deal out of it, but this is probably one of my favorite pieces of the garage build, just in terms of how functional it's gonna be. This is the inlet hose. So this inlet hose is gonna run down to this area here. Okay, and what we basically have left to install right now is a hose bib right here that will have one output going to the left for the inlet and one output going to the right for the uh, bucket filler. So this is the hose bib. Pick this up at Home Depot. This is eight inches deep. The CMU block, cinder block in my garage it is eight inches deep. So we're gonna drill a um, seven eighths inch hole through the block with a concrete bit and a hammer drill. And then we're gonna slide this through. I've got an adapter to go to the end of this that will connect to the garden hose, which was already running to the building through that back window previously way in the back there on the right. So I've rerouted the garden hose. It's gonna come basically right here on the side. You can kind of see there, connect to this hose bib on the outside and then the hose bib will come through. And then this is the hose filler. This thing is really stout, super thick. So I've got this, um, <clears throat> you know, with a really nice length and then the OG nozzle for filling these up. So moving top to bottom, we've got uh, the Karcher, like I said, uh, foam cannons on the shelf. So this line ran quite nicely. It was um, not too bad to uh, run down. Got a little bit of a leak, as you can see there. So I need to double check that uh, thread tape and connection there. But overall, I've run the system. That's the only very minor leak I've been able to find. So that's great but basically ran the inlet hose down and around and over to this spot here on the left, jumper hose coming from the pressure washer outlet for the um, hose connection down to the Cox reel and into this, pulled this out and fired it up and this thing is money. And then down below, we got our bucket filler. So this is super easy, the height's nice, it's up off the floor. So it goes down in these buckets nice and easy. And then of course, at the bottom, we've got our buckets. I went with the black and blue, as opposed to the red, just to kind of stay with the overall theme of black and blue and grays in here. That's a wrap on that. We're going to, like I said, finish counters, do some cleaning, stuff like that. But uh, very happy out of that wall up. Can finally wash the car again. Uh, this vehicle and really all the vehicles have not been washed in quite a while, as you can imagine, working on this project over the last few weeks. So very excited to test this out. I'm sure this will speed up my process of washing for sure. Uh, probably like 30 minutes, honestly, just to do a quick exterior wash, especially with the uh, CSL coating on this car. And for full detail, even if that's an hour, hour and a half, really go crazy and, you know, spend a lot of time in the interior and all the door jams and frunk and all that. The nice part is that I'll be able to clean up in 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. That's probably the worst. I think when you're getting everything out, you're super excited about detailing, but putting it back is just a nightmare. So I'm super excited at the ability just to reel all this up, turn it off and walk away.